Hi, so um, I'm going to make this video after a pretty interesting conversation uh, with a new patient I had yesterday, which was actually through an interpreter. So I think uh, this was how we ended up uh, coming with this kind of realization. So um, whenever I see a new patient for top surgery, so this was a male to female patient who had been on hormones for years and years and had grown beautiful breasts, but small breasts. Um, and she wanted uh, to talk about size, which is a huge thing uh, when seeing a patient uh, to, plan, uh, to plan a feminizing mastoplasty or breast augmentation. Uh, so we were going back and forth and talking about uh, sizes and being too big. And uh, one of the things I thought was very interesting was the patient specified, I want to be perky, but very big, big, very big and perky. So this kind of made me think um, and really in plastic surgery, you got to choose or in breast augmentation, you got to choose one or the other. You can't really be perky and really big. Now, we can do one or the other. And some patients, a lot of my patients uh, will, you know, tell me, make me as big as my chest, as big as um, we can do. And uh, for some girls with broad chest, we can we can go up pretty big. But there is a sweet spot in in uh, breast augmentation. That there is a certain amount um, of space that um, we can fit the implant in, where it's going to really enhance that natural uh, breast and push forward and kind of showcase uh, the natural breast. And really, if we go above that, um, which we can do, the breast is not going to look so good anymore naturally without a bra it's going to begin to sag um with uh with a bra you know a lot of patients really like that look it can be pushed up the breast can be pushed together um and oftentimes patients request that and are very happy with that result but i think the take-home message is really when it comes to breast augmentation it's oftentimes do you want perky or do you want big you we really it's very difficult uh in most patients to do both there's a certain size um that's kind of this god-given size uh, that fits uh, a patient and um, usually I strongly recommend uh, listening to your plastic surgeon um, and trying not to uh, exceed that um, but um, if you want to go any bigger there will be some sagging it's just gravity uh, you know every big breast pretty much sags in the long run